Hey guys, so today is going to be a haul and a first impressions video. I picked up one, two, three, four, five things yesterday and I've already tried some of the things and I'm just, you know, gonna let you know what my first impressions are. So let's get started. Okay, what should I start with? Let's start with what I have on my lips right now. MAC recently came out with a matte lipstick collection except for all the shades in the collection are permanent and some of them are not new. There were actually very few new shades in that collection so they were just kind of re-promoting shades that already have existed in the line for quite some time now. So I was at the MAC counter and I was looking at that display and there was one shade that just kind of jumped out at me and that is Please Me. And that's what it looks like. That's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Where the heck have I been with this shade? <laughs> I've heard of it. I've seen it over the years and I was like, yeah, it's it's a really pretty pink, but I didn't feel compelled to buy it, I guess, for some reason. And I had heard people talk about it and it is, it's gorgeous because it's the perfect everyday shade of pink. I've heard people talk about Angel and Snob and Cream Cup and I have some of those shades myself and I've also owned other shades of MAC pink lipsticks but I don't know I just never looked at this never bothered with it and it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and I don't find it to be drying on my lips I know a lot of people don't like MAC matte lipsticks because they think they're super dry I don't have an issue with a lot of the shades uh, some of them I do but some of them I don't oddly enough and I know that they came out with a retro matte and then they have the regular mattes and this is just a regular matte so even though I have it on I'm gonna swatch it for you just so you can see what it looks like so it's just it's a gorgeous rosy pink it's not one of those crazy bright pink lipsticks like candy yum yum but it's also not one of those pale pale pink lipsticks that isn't going to show up it's I think it's perfect I think this is now that I've actually tried this and worn it I think this is always going to be one of my all-time favorite MAC lipsticks I just can't believe it took me so long to try it and figure that out so another thing that I picked up yesterday let me just grab a wipe and get that swatch off because if you leave swatches on and then you just continue normally the swatch ends up on everything <laughs> So let's get rid of that. Okay, so I am not a lip gloss person. I don't really own a lot of lip glosses, but once in a great while, I like to top a lipstick with a little bit of clear gloss. I just find that to be one of the easiest things to do rather than trying to match a lip gloss to a lipstick and go that route. Um, I'm not the sort of person that just would wear a lip gloss on its own so I I've kind of learned that over the years so I don't really buy that many lip glosses anymore for that reason but if you're looking for a really great lip gloss formula look no further than yes Dollar Tree LA Colors makes a line of lip glosses called Expressions and I don't think it says it. Yeah, it doesn't say anywhere on the tube, but it probably said it on the packaging. And this lip gloss formula is so great. It's not sticky. It smells like bubble gum. It smells fantastic. And so I just picked up the clear one. I already had this in a couple of colors. The colored ones are fairly pigmented. You can wear them on their own if you're just looking for something that has a little bit of color to it and you can wear it it's pigmented enough that you can wear it um, 
on your natural lips and you'll be able to still see the color but it's just not going to be like a wham in your face kind of thing but I love this formula so much that I wanted to get the clear so that I could top it use it for a topper on top of any lipstick if I just felt like going the shiny route so I haven't tried this yet but I have it in all the colors so I kind of know what to expect but um, I'm going to put a little bit of this on top of the MAC Please Me just so you can see what it looks like. But oh my god, these smell fantastic. I can't believe these are only a dollar. There's also a line of lipsticks called Expressions by LA Colors that Dollar Tree sells. I've done, I've, I've done multiple videos about those lipsticks and lip glosses so I've talked about them before but they really are great and I can't believe they're only a dollar I wanted to wait until the video to do this because see now the now the um, doe foot applicator is stained but um hmm I wonder I wonder if I wiped that on a wipe, if I could get that off. Yeah, some of it came off because I don't really want to, you know, deposit it back into the tube with a lot of color on it because then it could transfer to the product itself and then it won't be clear anymore. But see, that just gave it a little bit of shine and yeah, these, these are incredible. I think um, if you just wanted like a clear lip gloss to maybe leave in your purse to add some shine to either your lips or your lipstick, this would just be a great thing to have. Now I don't know if Dollar Tree is always going to have these products. Uh, they've had them for quite a while now, so I think they're like a permanent fixture at most Dollar Trees, but yeah, this is fantastic and I'm so glad I got that. Okay, then I also got some things at Christmas Tree Shop, and you've heard me talk about Christmas Tree Shop before. It's a division of Bed Bath & Beyond. Some Christmas Tree Shops have Harmon Drug Stores inside them, so it's like a store within a store. So I buy a lot of my drugstore makeup there because it's uh, one of the best places price-wise to buy drugstore makeup. Prices are a little higher in general where I live in the northeastern part of the country, so if I ever quote you a price and you think to yourself, well that doesn't sound like such a great deal because it's not that is it's not that expensive where I live, well that's just because everything is the most expensive in the northeast. I don't know. Different parts of the United States have different price points, so it's like that for everything. It's like that for oil, electricity, um, you know, prices vary around the country. Anyway, who cares? <laughs> um, so I got three products there, but you can find these same products at lots of other stores. You know, they're not exclusive to the store that I bought them at. One thing I picked up was an e.l.f. spoolie and this is from their essential line and their essential line, most things in their essential line are a dollar. I wanted to get this because all the spoolies that I have are part of like an eyebrow pencil and the ones that I have are all very stiff hard bristles and very difficult to clean. This is a little different instead of the bristles being really stiff and hard they actually have some gift to them like if if you did this with your fingernail on any other spoolie that I've ever tried uh, the bristles wouldn't move they just uh, would be super stiff and hard so I tried this for the first time today and the way I'm going to use this is I like to apply, I use the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in Ash and it's got a like a taupey colored cream on one side and then this beige powder on the other. What I did today, sorry, every time I make a video my nose gets itchy. I think it's, it's just uh, psychosomatic or something. <laughs> um, what I like to do is I like to take this Wet n Wild brush that I got with 
some sort of palette. I don't really remember now, but it's just it's the perfect size little angle brush. And I take some of that cream, taupe cream, and I run that through my brows. Then I took the spoolie and just sort of like blended it with the spoolie afterwards. And I didn't use the powder um, because sometimes the powder can alter the color enough that I don't like it as much. So if I if I need my brows to look perfect all day long, sometimes I will take a little bit of the powder to set the cream, but most of the time I don't feel like, you know, I don't have to do that. That's just an extra step that's kind of unnecessary. But anyways, my point is I love this spoolie because I can't really wash the other ones. It, they seem like they're impossible to wash. And I can kind of tell by the texture of this that it's going to be good to wash. Now, how will it hold up over time? Will the bristles fall out? I don't know. This is a haul and a first impressions video, so I'll have to get back to you, I guess. But it's only a dollar, so if it doesn't work out, it's only a dollar. So, uh, so far, really loving that. Another thing I bought is a uh, mascara that I was asking you guys about the other day and I didn't get any feedback at all when I asked you guys about this. The CoverGirl Super Sizer. I said, you know, I had asked you guys if any of you had tried it and I don't think any of you did. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering. Well, anyways, I, I was so curious. Every time a new drugstore mascara comes out, I'm so curious, I want to try it. Um, the most recent one that I tried was the um, Maybelline Colossal Chaotic. I like the formula on that one, I don't like the brush. On this one, well, let me show you. So the packaging is like turquoise with gold lettering on it, so pretty packaging. This is the wand, or the brush and it's plastic, it's not like a bristle brush like the other one was. And it starts off really, really short bristles on the bottom and then they get a little bit longer as you work your way up the wand. And I, so far, I really like this. I mean, my lashes really pop with this on. The only thing that I can tell you about this that could be a problem is you can't really layer this or not that I can tell anyway because the more I applied it started to clump up so but you don't really need to apply a lot to get that va va voom effect I mean look at my look at my lashes I mean it I only put a very small amount of this on and it coated like every single lash and looked great with very little product. So if you're somebody that likes to layer your mascara, uh, I don't think this is going to work for you because you can't really layer this because it does start to get clumpy as you start to add more. But I really like this. Um, I feel like it's it's a better mascara for me and the type of lashes that I have. Mascara is such a individual thing, you know, depending on what your lashes are like, you're going to have different needs when it comes to mascaras, but I really like this and uh, I feel like I don't have to work as hard with it like I did with the Maybelline one. With the Maybelline one, you have to slowly build layer upon layer to get the desired effect, which might be okay for somebody else with different kinds of lashes than me, but I just want to do the job and get it over with. I don't want it to be an all-day project. So this, for me, in my lashes works out great. And then the last product that I bought is the new L'Oreal True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator. And I got it in the shade C302 Ice. And this is the one that they recommend for people with cool toned skin. They have three highlighters in this range. And um, the other two are Rose, Rose for medium skin, no, Rose for neutral skin tones and Gold for warm toned skin tones. And so I have cool toned skin, so I got the ice. And 
My first impression of this is I do really like it. I don't know how well you can see it because sometimes my lighting in these videos um, can look a little bit washed out because I use natural lighting. I film right in front of a window with a shade on it. So um, yeah, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. Sometimes if you tilt your head and look at things with it from a different angle you can see it better so hopefully it's showing up but what I did was um, when I first bought the product I swatched each thing individually and again I'll swatch each color for you individually but I don't know how well you'll be able to see them so there's the yellow there's the lilac There's the blue, and there's the white. But what I did was I I swirled swirled them all together with a fan brush, and I just used all the colors because the colors are so subtle. And I mean, it, it would depend on what you were trying to do because you could use it like a highlighter slash color corrector, depending on what what sort of effect you wanted but I just swirled them all together and used all of them and if I swirl it all those shades together on my arm no you can't can't see much at all um, on that part of my arm anyway because that's the fairest part of my skin that never sees the Sun but I like this but I don't love it and it was pretty expensive uh, I paid $10.99 for this. Now you will see it at other places, like I said, for less money because I live in the Northeast and everything is the most expensive here. But so far for a cool toned highlighter, I think I like my Wet n Wild Sweet Junction better. Now this is like a peachy pinky shade and this is limited edition, but I can actually see that in the light when I swatch it, whereas this other um, L'Oreal compact just sort of blends all into my skin. I didn't put a ton on, I just put like a normal amount on. I suppose I could build it up to make it be more noticeable, but I my first impression is I don't feel like it's worth $11. I mean, I paid one cent short of $11. and. Knowing what I know now, I don't think I would use it again, but then again, I've only used it once and I only put a small amount on, but yeah, I like this other one better for me and my skin tone, but it's limited edition, the Wet n Wild Sunset Junction. Um, so I don't know, you know, I'll, I'll play around with the L'Oreal one a little bit more. If you're looking for a review on either one of the other two shades, Samage, I don't know if you guys know who she is. She does really good product review videos. I'll try and remember to put a link to that video because she reviewed the rose one and the gold one and um, she really liked them and that's what makes me think you know I might need to play with this a little bit more to really give it a fair test. Sometimes first impressions aren't necessarily going to be how you feel about something once you've worked with it or used it more. So that's it you guys, that's my haul and my first impressions video and I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye!